Ooh. Yeah, baby. Mm. <clears throat> Guess my it's not the first heartbroken. Yeah, there's a lot of globe chores with their hearts My broken. eyes are not the first to cry. But don't worry, you see, if you've got a proper education, I'm your not hearts the first to know. There's just no getting over you. It's because you're not educated properly. That's all it is. Education. You know, I'm just a fool who's willing. Yeah, willing to do anything. To sit around and wait for you. That's all Blake Charles do. Because nothing's going to happen. Not going to go to space. Baby, can't you see? Not going to go anywhere. There's nothing else for me Blake to, to do. Absolutely. They're no, dementedly devoted demented to, the, to glow. the glow. Everybody now. But now there's no way to hide you since you pushed my love aside. I'm out of my head, Nowhere. hopelessly Dementally demented devoted to, to the, the globe. Dementedly hopelessly devoted to, to the globe. Hopelessly demented to the globe. So there we go. Anyway, there we go. That was uh, that was not bad. That was a short one. Yeah, that was a short one. That one tonight. But uh, all oh, thanks right. to Olivia Newton John. Oh well, yeah, we thought we'd do yes. it Newton because uh, now she really should have been called. She, now if she was a man, she, she could, could be been. called John Olivia Newton. Or she could have been Olivia Neutrino John. Possibly. Or her first name could have been Newton. Newton John Olivia. Or, or Newton Olivia John. Or Olivia Isaac Newton John. Oh, they could have slipped an Isaac in there, yeah, of course. Yeah, slipped an Isaac in there. Anyway, well, yes, uh, as uh, everyone can uh, probably gather, we're back again. Annoying, Annoying people, people with the truth because a, a lot, lot of people... people Dislike the truth. Dislike the truth. Yes, Oof, and, and how I, bad that to really be, is. To be honest with you, I Oof, to be so honest with you, I have time. been this over the past few weeks. I have, I've, I've discovered a new phrase: was a radically radical honesty. And, and would you like to care to explain um, what that means? <clears throat> um, well, whoever devised the concept. Um, obviously has their own idea on what it is. But well, it's I, been out since 1995. Right, but I've got my own idea as to <clears> what, <throat> how I would view yeah, rad okay. radical honesty. But radical honesty is all about... Um, just being truthful. Just being truthful. And basically. blurting and speaking the truth to speaking people. Speaking the truth. That's why... Knowing that it will hurt. Yeah, yeah, sure. But if you can get over that, you yeah. can, you're not hiding behind lies. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. But that's why it's called radical honesty. It's because there's not much honesty that spews out of people's mouths. Well, it's like Billy Joel. People love the dream rather than, rather, rather than the reality. Billy Joel. Honesty. Such a lonely word. It's because not many people are honest. Are honest, absolutely. So it's, it's so nice to be honest. radical. No, it's so nice to be radical. Oh, right, yeah, radical. And... And speak the truth because you're you're mm. kind of like you're you're telling people that you're you want change, Absolutely, aren't you? In yeah. a way, because yeah. if you can be honest and open to other why can't people, other people? Why can't other people? If other yeah. people want to hide their feelings from others, and if they want to pretend to be happy when they're not, or, or pretend whatever. to be happy with their wives. Absolutely, or you know that's to be happy with their husbands. Uh, absolutely, yeah, of course. Oh yeah, I, lo I, I love my wife. Yeah, we've been together. Yeah, years I'll never speak to him though. You know, but, he spends you know, most of his time in the shed. She does her thing. I do my thing. We are. Yeah. It's a bit like old Toya Wilcox. Old Toya Wilcox. When she was first married, they hardly. Didn't, what was the song? Mystery. It's, it's a mystery. mystery. Oh, it's a mystery. mystery. Yeah, well, it's a mystery why she got married. But anyway, I'm still searching for a clue. Oh, she's still searching for something. I can yeah. say that. But when she got when she first got married, she hardly spent a lot of time with her husband. 
Uh, well, to be honest with you, it does mean and now in later life. Yeah, but she could put that down to being working, having spending, to work. She's spending more time all that. with her husband. Well, making up for the lost years. And yeah, well, yeah, basically. But they've got no children. I know. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty no children gruesome really whatsoever. when you think about it. But uh, you know that's and you and me both realise if you haven't got kids in your life, <clears throat> yeah, 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 your life can be filled. Your life will feel empty. Absolutely, because you don't have children, do you? No, I don't. No. So yeah, I know. But your life can... can feel empty because that's what life. But they won't tell this to people because they won't tell this to. I bet, yeah, yeah, I bet yeah even, of course. About even uh, people who don't have children. You know, you know the group. Yeah, but life can still feel children. empty to someone who does have children. Yeah, but a lot of people just fill up their their space, empty space, with something. Might be a pet. <clears throat> The television. Dog. Or the television. Their car. Their car, yeah. Their newspapers and magazines. After all, they might compensate. Now, compensation, yeah. And they might, yeah. Take, they might spend some time with the, the kid who lives course. next door. Absolutely. But, anyway. Anyway. How are you, Peter, today? Are you well? Are you uh, okay. super I'm well? Or that. are you I'm even a, I'm okay. super duper duper no, well? No, I'm okay, actually. You're okay. I've just, yeah, I've just taken a, a tablet for a headache. Right, okay. But anyway. But you've, anyway, well, how are you? Anyway. anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm a little, uh, I f just feel a little uh, love lawn. Love lawn. Yeah, it's mm. getting to be quite a habit. Yeah, yeah I, I went that into word, that word should be more more familiar. With I popped into the people. I popped into the I popped into the pharmacy the other day, and uh, I was uh, one of the things. Find well, some David Beckham. No, 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 Aspen. no, no, no. But one of one of my one of my pet hates that uh, is is um, developing strongly, and that is when people when you're served by somebody, and it's your turn next, and they ask you, "Are you okay?" Oh, and I'm well, thinking yeah. to myself, what what's wrong with, can I help you? Well, that's probably good customer service, isn't well, it? Well, can I help you? That's what I'm here to do. But they ask, are you okay? It's as if there's something wrong with you. Or there could be something wrong with you. So when oh, wow. when this person asked me, you know, yeah, you how know are what, you? you know what I'm sorry, is. are you okay? I walked up to her <clears throat> behind the counter. Or, well, she was behind the counter, so I walked up to the counter and I said, in what context are you asking me that? Are you asking me, um, am I okay to stand around here waiting to be seen? Or am I okay generally? So she said, oh, generally. And then I said, well, I'm, I'm heartbroken. Mm. I am. And she went, oh, you know, because people aren't used to the truth. Absolutely. Well, they're, yeah, and they, they kind of like get, they stop and they have to, Cogitize that information Mason, that yeah. goes through because it's very unfamiliar. Quickly. Because they're unfamiliar and they mm. don't know how to respond. That might to be that, that might be uh, a tactic of society now. What's that? Yeah, and that is they. If you go into a shop, you oh all, yeah, you'll always get asked, "Are you okay?" Oh, it could be, yeah, because they're wanting to kind of like get people thinking that they've got a problem. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it could because. Because there's no need to ask. You, you have okay? all these. You have all the all of these um, customer service jobs, and they've all been through training in order to do the job they're doing. The the customer service people, and yet they ask, "Are you okay?" Right. Yeah, I know. You know, it's you know, you, you, could, you could walk into a. That's something your doctor should ask. Really, your doctor should be asking that, not yeah. uh, the person at the reception. But I mean, you know, so what I might do next time I go into the uh, pharmacy is uh, I might actually um, cover myself in blood. Oh, well, you yeah. know, fake blood. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, do a do a little scar on the side oh, right, of my yeah. face. So if you've got an open wound. Yeah, cover, cover myself in dog poo or something like oh, that. Oh, well, yeah. Or in feces. Oh, well, yeah. You know. Good one, yeah. And then I'll just look at her go, all oh, right. Oh, all well, right, yeah. Yeah, here's me, here's me prescription, love. <laughs> Coming from me prescription. And then she said, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? And then you walk out. I thought I'd wake up this morning and just cover myself in feces. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, because I have to admit, if you covered, your, like, if you covered yourself in feces and you started walking around the place, people would think that you're not okay. 
Yeah, I know, yeah. Because it's all part of this, it's all part of the... Conditioning. Con- well, it's all part of the conforming to societal norms. Oh, well, yeah. Isn't it? And if as soon as you, you are not in the norm, you're considered not okay. Abnormal. It's a bit like the flat earth. Well, I think the, the earth's flat. Mm, I think this, that, and that's not normal. Because what it's normal to think the Earth's a globe. I, I actually, I actually told someone on the, on the telephone <coughs> that I was a flat Earth. Oh yeah, yeah. She kind of like paused a little. Paused a little bit. She had to digest it. Yeah, of course. That. Yeah, yeah. She carried on with the conversation, which I was quite surprised at. Good. Well, you know, well to be honest with you, it's slowly, slowly, slowly um, sinking in, s- seeping through. The uh, collective consciousness of the, of the UK, yeah. anyway, in America, yeah. it's sweeping across the country. Yeah. But uh, as we will see um, later, After the eclipse. Well, as we will see later, we'll give some examples of what's helping it to become more spread. In, in, more spread, widespread into the collective consciousness, consciousness of yes. the UK. Anyway, anyway, let's get. But uh, anyway, so now tonight, so we're going to do the roleplay. Oh right, okay. Now, yeah, yeah, very quickly. Well, oh, oh right, yeah. Now this is very, very much flat Earth related. This is yeah, very quickly. Now I've just got to remember now because I've got to try not to laugh. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, is that the police? Uh, yes, this is um, this is uh, Constable uh, Jones. Hello, I'd like to make a complaint. Uh, yes, well, uh, can I take your name? Oh, it's um, Mister. Barnes. Okay, Mr. Barnes, and what? Where? Where do you live? I live in uh, fourteen Clarendon Road, okay. Chester. Okay, Lo- lovely, lovely, lovely. And what's your complaint? What would you uh, like to complain I'd, about? I'd like to complain yes. about. I've received something through my letterbox, which yeah. I find offensive. Oh right, okay. So can you tell me? You uh, are, you know, the you... contents of the uh, of the uh, leaflet or well, whatever it was. It was a leaflet. It was a leaflet from. Uh, Jehovah Witnesses. Oh right, Jehovah's on the, on Witnesses. On the front, it said, "Don't give up." Oh right, okay. Come along to our. Uh, All right, so convention. so t- tell me, and um, I was just so offended by that. Sure. So, can you tell me in what way was you offended by the contents of that leaflet? I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask for it. Yeah. I didn't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I looked at it and I thought, as if, don't give up, as if they're telling me that I'm. Suicidal or something. Oh right. Oh, so so what you're so saying is that is offensive. that. Oh, so you're saying that the leaflet kind of like um, gave put put inside gave you the impression that uh, you're you're kind of like uh, clutching onto uh, the side of the, the edge of a cliff. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of yeah. Thing. Right. Okay. Life, yeah. Well, well, well I, I just didn't like that. Sure. Sure. Well, you you know you you aren't going to yeah, do something about it, aren't you? Well, well. We have received one complaint, so but you act you know, on comp- you're you're the, a com- uh, the police are now the complaint handlers. Sure, they deal with complaints. Sure. Well, well, to be honest with they you, they don't sir, do crime. To be, to be honest, we need to have more than one complaint. But you but you should act on it. It's a complaint. But yeah, sure. But there's only one person that's complained about, it, and that's you. You know, we can't. You know, if we go around complain and acting on complaints made by individual people all the time we wouldn't have enough manpower to go out and tackle the real crimes so how many and people, the real issues that people want to be dealt with so, in society so how many people do you need to have a complaint dealt with um well at how least many people do you need complaining well at least two at least two yeah 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 at okay. least two fred fred come on on the phone you're going to make a complaint right okay right sure yeah, it is uh is fred he'll he'll he's going to sure, complain sure. about the same issue now right okay well well all we can all we can do all we can do is log your call and you know if we get any further complaints we'll we'll, we'll obviously go around to the jehovah's witnesses right. and tell them not to uh continue doing what yeah, they're doing can, can you make sure you do that with the same with the uh the local free paper Oh, oh the local free all, paper. All the political stuff as well. Right, okay, sure, okay. I like to complain about that. Well, yeah, but these, these people do they're have... Put, they're putting my, their values onto me, and I sure, don't like that. But, but these people are kind of like within their rights to drop mail through your letterbox. But I find it offensive. Well, you could always revoke their implied right of access to the property, sir. But I... I don't want to be doing all that hassle. I just don't want them dropping things through right, my letterbox. Right, right, sure. Okay, well, well, you, well, you do... Um, well, I could put a little notice on the letterbox. Yeah, well, you could actually put a notice on the... Thank you for reminding <laughs> me. Yeah, you could actually put a notice on the letterbox 
saying uh, no free newspapers, no junk ma uh, leaflets or oh, well, flyers. Yeah, that sounds like a so good you, idea. So you could do that. That sounds like, because obviously you're not going to do anything about it. So well, well, well to, be, to be honest with you, sir, there's not much we can do about it because you're the only person at the moment who's made but the Fred, complaint. But Fred's here. Sure, he's of course, made, yeah. He's, he's but then that's down to, down to Fred to phone up the police and uh, put, lodge his own complaint. But he's so. here now. He's, sure, sure, sure. Can't you talk to him? Like, Fred, sure. Fred, come to the phone. Hello? Yeah, is that is that Fred? Yeah, hello. Yeah, my name's Fred. Yeah, Lots right. Of, okay. Have you like got to make uh, a complaint? Yeah, sure. Okay. Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, sure. Stuff through the door. Yeah, yeah. Box. yeah. Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I think I think people get the gist of it, and that and that is you can't. <clears throat> um, people use the law, and people use um, the police when it suits them. Oh, absolutely, yeah. But when it <coughs> when you're an individual and you start making a, a little fuss, the the police won't do anything. Well, when you start using their system, when you start using them, them, the the very things they support, yeah, they they won't do anything about it. They won't do anything about it. Yeah, which is totally you, unfair. Yeah, you know, it's and the very unreasonable you, as well. The best thing you do about it is just say no. But it's another thing is, you know, how many people get these unwanted nuisance telephone calls? Loads of people. Loads of. And oh, I had five the easy, other day. Hold on. How easy is it for BT? I, you know, I keep telling these people that I'm not the occupier, I'm the burglar. But they won't, they won't, they won't listen. But how easy is it for BT just to pull a few switches and stop it? Oh, quite easy, absolutely. Very yeah, easy. Of but yeah, of they course. won't do it because they know it annoys people. No, it creates jobs. And it creates jobs. In India or wherever they're yeah, ringing from. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, because it's nonsense. They're, they're running out of ideas to create jobs. employment. Um, the, a lot of jobs are solely there to annoy people. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy, just, crazy. It's just a crazy system. Absolutely. Crazy, uh, it's a crazy, crazy world. And yet these people, <coughs> these globetrotters... Crazy world filled with crazy people, these, crazy demented these, people. These globetrotters can't see that even space is only there to create <coughs> jobs. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, Nothing crazy, crazy. doesn't crazy. exist. I was talking to somebody today um, about um, the moon landings, and I'm saying, where was the blast crater underneath the land? Where was the blast oh, crater? Yeah, oh, yeah. The lem you saw you see the video footage of Neil Armstrong talking his way to touchdown on the lunar surface, and you can't hear the rocket that's underneath <laughs> his feet. Absolutely, I mean, it's, how 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 absurd is that? I don't know. But it it takes people to mention that to make them realise how absurd it is. it is. People, it's a lot of people can't see it. Straight away. Yeah, I mean, if you because I used to watch that when I was younger, and I used to think, "Oh wow, they landed on the moon." No, yeah, look at that. But then, I've, as I've gotten older, and someone said to me, "Well, where's the bloody blast, blast crater. crater?" It made me think, "Oh wow, well, yeah, the how stupid of all." Oh well, yeah, they just loaded it on with the crane. Oh no, it was a model, wasn't it? It was a model. Yeah, model, yeah. it was probably yeah, a model. Well, it was yeah. all models because even those astronauts were all. Uh, uh, dummies, models, dummies, models, dummies! Absolutely, models. yeah. I mean, it's so easy to eat. people are easy to fall anyway, absolutely, because they yeah. love living the dream rather than reality. So you can fall people left, right, and centre. You know, well, I could say on here, oh, I've won the lottery. Yeah, yeah. You know, absolutely, you could do it if you wanted to. Absolutely, well, I've won the lottery. Doesn't mean so, it doesn't mean that you say, say that I have. You have, but you can say it. Say anything you like, like yeah. when you think about it. And people in. Uh, people on television, media, and all this lot, you know, they, they can essentially say what they want, want to say. say absolutely. You know. yeah. But uh, there you go, that's the state who's, of... Who's going to hold them to account? Oh, it's the, the very own system. Absolutely. That they support. Absolutely, of course. Anyway. Stupid. Anyway, so anyway. on tonight's um, show, mm. I thought what we'd do is we'd go over a few things, a few things uh, rocket-wise... Few things rocking right. Oh, let's do the the flat Earth promotion, the, the spreading of flat yeah. Earth. Yeah. Now, I was, was <clears throat> I was made aware that in Scotland, the flat Earth or flat Earth graffiti is hitting the country like fire. Oh yeah, yeah. And spreading 
everywhere. So we've this got is even uh, in places that are that are quite remote, remote you know, quite remote. Yeah. So we've got bizarre in the Inverness Courier. We've got bizarre flat Earth graffiti sparks criticism, criticism from Inverness councillor. Oh, only one. Only one. Okay, the, there we Burn, go. Burnham on the Sea was the leader of the council, wasn't it? I'm not, I'm unsure. No, it was Burnham the, on the, Sea. It was, yeah, I'm sure it was the leader. Yeah, but anyway, mystery graffiti making the bizarre claim that the Earth is flat has begun, begun It'll appearing be on road signs road signs in the Highland capital after the strange vandalism swept other parts, parts of, of Scotland. Scotland. Mm. Mm. Signs south of the Keswick Bridge outside Howden's Garden Centre and at the old Daviot Visitor Centre have all been lag tagged with the line The Earth is the Flat. Earth is flat. Mm. It comes just a, f a couple of weeks after identical graffiti was spotted on the A9 in Tayside. Tayside. Identical graffiti. Mm. And an Inverness councillor wants the culprit caught. Aginous. Get him! Aginous. Amid fears that conspiracy theorists' antics could encourage more vandals. How do they know it was one person? Absolutely. Well, they could don't know. Culprits. It could be quite a number of people. It could be a, an organised so, graffiti could be the mafia. group. Could be the mafia. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, so the councillor goes, uh, We are talking about graffiti in general here. We have zero tolerance for graffiti in the Highlands. But if we allow this vandal to get away with it, then it could just be the start, said Inverness South Councillor Duncan McPherson. Oh, Duncan. Oh, Duncan. We need to find out who is doing this and nip it in, in the, the bud before, before it becomes, becomes a bigger issue. issue. That's in before other people start realising that there's some truth in it. What we don't want is people adding to it. Uh, blah, blah, yeah. blah. He also worries that any increase in graffiti will impact on tourists' perceptions of the Highlands. Money. 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 That's all they're worried we about. We've got to think about money. money. Absolutely. We don't want to be losing money because yeah. of these flat earthers writing graffiti and putting off all our tourists from coming in the area and spending their bloody money. Absolutely, that's all they're worried about. That's all they're worried about, is money. money. Nothing else. Absolutely. And the councillor has been taking pictures of the vandalism and sharing it online in a bid to track down those responsible. OK, can anybody identify the ink? Oh, right. Is that the Flat Earth Scotland? Or the paint. Is that Flat Earth Scotland? Why, right. who's responsible? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't me. But one thing, what he's failing, what he's doing, he's doing us a favour because he's, he's doing lots of people. News. Well, he's actually making more people, people aware. aware. It's the same with the Burnham on Sea art, uh, article as well. They're making more people aware of Flat, Flat Earth. Earth. Yeah. You know, I mean, I tell lots of people. I do. I tell lots of people. I tell. I'm even starting most to. Most people. I, 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 used to, I used to go to work and I used to tell one person. Now I'm telling more or less everyone. Oh no, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's really really crazy. But that's a crazy world you live in. No, it no because the, what the in the no sense, no no what no. I mean is that it, I'm getting stronger in my in my confidence to be able to talk to people cool. and say the Earth is it's flat because it is. Because it is, it is flat. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm, you know, I've got more confidence to actually speak out and say what I truly think. Mm. You know, and you know, a lot of people ought to be doing that. Radical honesty. Absolutely. Absolutely yeah. He's also written to the police to ask what he, what is being done to track down the founder responsible. Well, uh, well, Duncan. Look, all we can do is is put well. We'll have more, to keep a few patrol cars patrol, out, and we'll try, get out. we'll get our officers to have a little. That's look about all we can do along the road. See if we can get see it. Get, Ask them to yet, keep the, an what, eye what out. What they don't realise for graffiti. What they don't realise it might not be someone in Inverness. It could be someone travelling around, travelling around Scotland. Scotland absolutely, yeah. In a, in a in a little uh, Robin Reliant, Robin Reliant, or yeah. something like that. You know, who knows? Or a van. Online complaints about the Earth is flat graffiti have come in from as far north as Ulness, Ulness, and, and as, as far, far as south as, as Perth. Perth. Members of the Inverness Neighbourhood Watch page have also linked the graffiti to leaflets that some residents have received through, through the, the post. post. 
Oh dear. The leaflet includes a picture of the Earth and a list of conspiracy theories to read and watch on YouTube. YouTube, yes. A well, spokeswoman. A list of uh, videos. Videos to, to read and watch. Information on, to read and watch, watch on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, they, they, see, it's their, their little... They love getting that word in, conspiracy, conspiracy theories. Yeah. But a spokeswoman for Highland Council said, All vandalism should be reported to Police Scotland on 101. Room 101. Absolutely. So, yeah, because they'll, they'll just treat it as vandalism. I mean, Absolutely. it is vandalism because it's, it's not your sign. It's not their sign. It's, it's the, it's the council's signs. They own or they are responsible for the signs. For, hold on. <clears throat> yeah. But, but they're road signs. So it's the, it's the company who is it's the it's Department not, of Transport. Are they? Are they responsible for now, the road Now signs? we could get or into a little legal debacle here. Whose who, road signs who actually are owns they? Them? I don't think it's <laughs> the councils, though. But it depends where they're situated. If you're talking road signs, if you're looking at temporary road signs like roadworks. Roadworks, yeah. They, they're normally owned by, by the company carrying company out the roadworks. roadworks. Absolutely. If you're looking at road signs that are road fixed. Road signs, absolutely. Then that's Street the furniture, for example. Street furniture, yeah. Mm. Then that's the council. But that looks as though... That sign is on a temporary road sign. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. No, that's the back of it, though, isn't it? That's, oh, possibly. That's the anyway. back of it. So let's just. Oh, look at that. That's absolutely terrible. Yeah. I mean, that looks. Looks like is a pen or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's the back of a sign. I'm but sure. It wouldn't surprise me. Some people are actually putting it on. You know, those lorries you see in disused lorries. Oh, in farmers' in, fields. In farmers' fields. And like trailers. Animal. Yeah, trailers. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'm sure some people are putting it on those. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Like but, I mean, it's a wonderful, wonderful way to move forward because, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to condone this kind of behaviour at all, you know, because it is graffiti. Absolutely. You know, and I yeah. don't really like graffiti. But this, the important part about this graffiti is that the message is true. Well, and also... And being that it's true, it ought to have a presence <clears throat> and also you could argue that if you're an individual and you wanted to promote something yeah it would cost you money to have a sign up absolutely board up. absolutely of course and something like this they wouldn't have anyway because it doesn't cost anything no no, no. people don't have to pay for that do they if you apart if you, from a if pen you, if you went to your local press and said yeah can you put a front a front page on flat earth Absolutely, yeah. Please, they won't. They, won't they do wouldn't it. do it, even if you it. supplied them with the money. Yeah, even if you had the money. Yeah, oh, sorry, they'd the take money. the money, but then they wouldn't print the art, the art well, the page. They'd do a wangle, so they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, of course, they'd, con you, they'd con you out the money. money. Yeah, then they'd, then, they'd, uh, then you'd yeah, take sure, them to sure. court. Absolutely, but, but, but that's why this is free. It doesn't cost. A it doesn't go, absolutely, yeah. and it's 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 uh, anyone's right to be able to promote something. Absolutely, yeah. Think about it. Well, to be honest with you, Anyone there ought have to be a right to be able to promote something. There ought to be in every town. This now, this should be royal charter. There ought to be by royal charter in every town a place or a display board that people can um, add um, advertisements or leaflets that promote their views, ideas, or and opinions. And opinions. There ought to be one. I mean, obviously, if there's a leaflet that's similar to yours, then you you don't need to put yours up. But you you need to know, essentially, what your what the people of the town or city well, their views and what their views and opinions, opinions are. On, yeah. I mean, how do you know that? You nobody can go out and do a consensus or some kind of survey, can they? Absolutely, yeah. So, <clears throat> but it's just nonsense. But it just goes to show that people are ruled rather than um, governed. Well, rather than well, they're ruled and governed rather rather than people actually having a, an active input into their society in which they live. Mm, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So, but but yeah. Yeah. but it but it's wonderful news to see that Scotland's kind of like, uh, um, you know, going widespread. Yeah, taking it by by the over kill, the highlands by the yeah. sporran, taking it by the absolutely sporran. grabbing grabbing the caber right at the bottom. Yeah, tossing the cave. Up. Absolutely, yeah, of course, great. But anyway, so, that's good. Now, we're going back, way back in time, to a few weeks. Oh, well, we? well, we're going to look at... We're going to look at Newton again. Newton, confusion, confusion. That's all, that's all you get with his name, isn't it? 
Well, that's all you get. That's all that accompanies his name. Confusion. Confusion. Isaac Newton yeah. confusion. confusion. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Newton's laws of commu- Confu- confusion. Absolutely. Yeah. Because we've dubbed it. We've we have, we've taken away the Newton's third law of motion, and we've dubbed it the Newton's law of confusion, haven't we? Well, it's not the motion. It's just confusion. Well, all of them are confusing. Yeah, Newton's laws are <clears throat> confusing. How can you have something that's inert and not moving and when it move? When everything's in motion. motion. There's not one thing that's stationary. Absolutely, because your cells in your body are moving. My cells in my body are moving all the time. The, the atoms of this, the molecules of this microphone are moving. Absolutely, even microscopically. Yeah, On motion. a quantum level, they are moving, moving yeah. all the time. So there's no such in thing motion. as inertia. So the Newton's first law um, can go right out of the window. window. And then we've got Newton's second law, which states force equals mass times acceleration. Well, what if a car's travelling at a steady speed? And not accelerating. Right. Yeah. Well, if the Earth's rotating, how can it accelerate? Absolutely. So yeah. there can't be a force oh, then, so can there? there? And there was another one we thought about as well, and that is... Um, Oh, we thought we thought of another one, wasn't there? About um, about the mass. Um, oh, I'm trying no, to think now. It will come to you. Probably. Yeah, there was there was another one, which may, may, meant it all rubbish. Mm. Oh, how can they be a law of motion when you can have a force applied to another force, but there is no motion? Absolutely, like if you push on a wall. Like, for instance, well, if you have a box, you put a box on the floor, and then you get another box, and you put it on top. Now, the box on the top is going to be pushing down on the box underneath underneath it. But the box underneath it is going to be pushing up on the box. But hey, presto, there is no motion. Yeah. So to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Although it's kind of reasonable to, you know, say that, you know, there's no motion. So mm. how can it be classed or used or applied under a big heading, Newton's laws of motion? Yeah, no, it's, when it's, it doesn't apply to all yeah. motion. Well, absolutely, yeah. It's, it's, in it's, regard to objects, yeah, not obviously on a microscopic level. Yeah, but it's like... That's his, why it's all rubbish. His, his, his uh, Newton's third law. Oh, like, yeah. For every action, there was an equal and opposite. That's more or less saying what goes around comes around absolutely what goes around comes around i reckon what he did was that he he actually wrote read the bhagavad gita yeah i reckon he was I influenced by indian he, sense, yeah because he was sense. into our, his alchemy and the, the occult so he, so he knew a lot about religions what they used to believe and all this lot so he he, he ch- changed one kind of like saying and, the, and brought it into a more of a more technical, practical yeah kind of uh, what way, you know? Yeah, basically. Be, that's all he did. But we're going to have a look. He was just uh, reinventing the will. Absolutely, reinventing the will. Yeah, he didn't create anything new. You know. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I've got some examples. Yeah, because we we because firmly we think, reckon. No, we no, we now oh, sorry, know we know that a lot of people get force and motion confused. Yes. <clears throat> Absolutely, yes. Force and, and the action-reaction confused. confused. Absolutely, yes. Now, because this is our... Um, oh, I didn't get up the uh, didgeridoo, did I? Um, this is our thumbnail for the video. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got Newton's third law of confusion, because that's what we're going to call it. And as you can see, the, the diagram, you've got this. Um, what This is what it's supposed to be. The, the guy is pushing... Stepping off the boat. Stepping off the boat maybe to dive into the water or whatever. And the re- that's the action. And the reaction is the boat moves backwards. Right. Okay, that's, pre- that's pretty simple. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm quite tempted to go and just get up the the other um, images. images. Action. Oh, no, here we go. Sorry. Newton's third, third law. law of motion. A second and emotion. Well, if you feel like giving me da 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 da
Da, da, da. There we go. Now, <clears throat> in this diagram, what they're saying is, is that the action of the person moving forward means that the skateboard moves backwards. Was creating an equal and opposite reaction. It's cre creating an equal and opposite reaction. Now, that was very simple, wasn't yeah, it? That's the, yeah, what's the other one? A bit like the rocket. The rocket moves in one yeah, direction with the exhaust gases yeah, moving in, in the, the opposite other. direction. You want to keep that up? Right, okay, so I'll leave that there. And the other one was... That one there. That one there, wasn't it? So, view image. There we go. There we go. So, you've got two guys together. Two guys together, and they're, they're both on kind of like a wheeled skateboard, skateboard, skateboards. skateboards. They always use skateboards, don't they? Yeah, but they've got to use that because it helps in the, helps uh, put across the illusion as believable. Yeah, because it, it enables the motion in yeah, the opposite direction. Direct, they've got to have, look, look, in all, always remember, look, if you're on television, okay, or you're teaching people about Newton's third law of motion, Always remember the golden law, and that is you want motion in one direction has to have motion in the opposite direction. Okay, you got that? Right? Absolutely. Right, yeah. okay, great. Yeah, now, you can't go that. wrong. People, people have, have to, to see, see that, that. and you, you can't go wrong. So all you have to say, motion that way, you get the motion in the opposite direction. It, it, so you yeah. can fall them. You'll yeah, fall them. Fall you'll, them. Be, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't yeah, worry yeah, about yeah. it. Right, so yeah, here we've got two people pushing against each other, so, uh, yeah. and obviously they're, um, that, that would be the push, the action, and the reaction would be that they're, they're moving away from each other right, on, okay. their, on their little skateboards or their whatever they are. So they've got the, the push. See, this diagram, very quickly, this diagram, you've got a push, which is a force. You've got a push, which is a force. Motion. And they've got motion. Very good, yes. So it's the, the the yes yes very very good. I'm, not, I'm unsure whether we need to. Uh, no, that's it because I've only done those three images. Yeah, I mean, the, the, just just as a quick aside, this is this is absolute. This is like our um, our globe trotter challenge. Globe trotter challenge. These two forces are in equal size and opposite in direction, but they're just diagrams. No, no, this no. is a, a ball, a green ball. And a blue ball, and their arrows. But how does that relate to reality? It doesn't. Yeah, because you need a third mass. You to need a third to mass to move both of those two apart and B in that direction. Absolutely, it's nonsense. It's rubbish. Because how can B apply a force against <sighs> A and A apply a force against B when nothing is pushing B or nothing's pushing A? Absolutely, it, it's a it's, it's a it's bollocks. It's it? absolute rubbish. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. But uh, I'm glad we l looked at that anyway. But um, now, what you've done, <laughs> all I of can't these, believe all of these, I know, all of these are just rubbish. Yeah, anyway. Now, so you did some lovely bit of artwork, didn't you? And you've changed a lot of these diagrams. Well, I've changed what the diagrams to what they all <laughs> should be. To what they should be. <clears throat> so if we get the first one up. So let's get the first one up. Now, this is the first diagram. So the action of the guy stepping off the boat gives you a reaction, according to the diagram, the unaltered diagram, mm. of the boat moving in the opposite direction. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. fine. Now, let's have a look at your... Um, oh. It's probably not on there, is it? I don't know. I hope so. Yeah, you'll need to bring up the... Da -de -da -da -da. Da -da. There we go. That was... That one, there. It's that one there, isn't it? And do de -de -de. Oh. Da, 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 da. There, we go. there we go. Oh, there we go. We've got it now. Now this is this is the revised right, yeah, proper. Well, this um, is how it is. This is how it should be understood according to Newton's third law of well, motion. motion yeah. To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah, and I'll put some put a little shoreline there. There's a bit of shoreline there. So, so the guy's stepping off because what stepping the off the boat onto the shoreline. Yeah, but think about which is your action. Yeah, hold on. Think about it. He's step. He's stepping from a boat onto shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's actually pushing the boat backwards. He's pushing because he needs to push the boat backwards in, in, in order to move forwards. forwards. Because if you can't push on anything, or, you're not moving anywhere. Sorry. In order for him to move forward, he has to push, push. back. He has to push back. 
And or he's, pushing the opposite direction. Yeah, so he's yeah. pushing on the boat. Now, that's the action, that's isn't it? That's the action. Now, the reaction of that would be the water on the mass of the water um, pushing Acting. back on the on boat, the boat. on the boat's motion. Absolutely. Yeah. In hindering because the boat's what, motion. What it's so easy to understand. Because what you're finding is that the arrows, the direction of the action and reaction, will always come together. They should always come together, absolutely. They never go apart. Because that's that's our understanding of Newton's third law, because absolutely. it makes sense, mm. total sense. I mean, so, if anybody would like to tell me how they don't step off, a, when they step off a boat, they're not pushing on the boat. Absolutely. I'd, I'd very much like to know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have a look at, because this is the actual, um, I'll, I'll, we, we might as well look, this is the actual, um, See, they're, they're skewing it because they're, move, they're putting the arrows away from each yeah, other. Yeah, because they've got to show rocket moving in one direction. They've got, thing, they've got to show things moving apart. apart. Yeah. So they've got to have the arrows moving apart, moving in the direction that they're moving yeah, apart. But it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a psychological operation. Opera, it's a psyop to get people to think, to think, get their minds thinking. But essentially, it's bollocks. Absolutely, it's yeah. absolute rubbish. So, so there's that one, and there's there's your one, and there's the action reaction, the, the proper diagram mm. we think sh Newton's third law of motion should um, apply to. And so there's that one, and we also had a look at uh, the the skateboard. So here's the skateboard. Let's go back to the skateboard. You got the action of the person um, <coughs> moving, moving forwards. forwards. Um, or stepping off the skateboard, yeah. Or yeah. Well, well, you can't see what the person's doing on, but it's, you can just see a, a foot and a leg. And the reaction is the skateboard moving to the but, left, yeah, in the opposite direction. See the arrows moving the apart. Part, yeah. You've always got to be careful of those. Now you've changed that diagram around. Yeah. Haven't you? And you've gone. No, it's not that one. Isn't it that one? Oh, you're absolutely. I can click that off. It's, uh, you've done that one. No, it's it's not, not that one either. What have you done to me? This is, this is terrible news. It's this one no. here. There. I'll have to click. It's this one here. You've done a lovely job, haven't you? Yeah, see you again. <laughs> Very clear. Now you can see the arrows are pointing together. together. And so what's happening here is that the person, in order to step off the skateboard, they need to push on the skateboard. Absolutely. So they're pushing in the direction towards the left, where the from right to the, left. The arrow of the action. Where the arrow of the action is. And the reaction of that would be the ground on the wheels, the friction, resisting, the resisting that movement. Absolutely. And so that's the reaction of that. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and maybe a bit of air resistance as well. Possibly, you know, yeah. Possibly, you know. But all but the arrows are going... The arrows to are, going, are coming together. Because and all forces come together. All forces... Well, according to Newton's on ideas, um, his ideas on... Based on contact. Were based on contact forces. Maybe. Contact. Yeah. Apart from magnetic... Apart from field forces. Yeah, but forces come together. Together, forces come together. You the know, car has to hit the tree, tree in order in order for the tree to fall over and yeah. the car to stop. Absolutely, the car can't touch the tree and move away from it. Yeah, the hammer. You can't hammer a nail in by <coughs> lifting the hammer up and expecting the nail to go down. Absolutely, it's, you I've know, got to admit, it's so easy and simple to understand. understand. Yeah. It makes you realise how messed up people actually are true. to think that this is true, true. when it's bollocks well, to think what they're told to think what they're told taught is true or is taught true. at school yeah. is anyway but so there's that one have, uh, yeah i've got to, i've got to take it bring it up uh, individually oh it's because you maximize it that's why oh is that why it does it why it does that all yeah. oh, right okay and the last one was our two men on a on a <clears throat> did you do there we go our uh, two men on a digital. Have you done this one? Yeah, think about it. Yeah, of course. Now you've got the push. So in order for anyone to push in one direction, they need, they have to push back by virtue of Newton's third law of motion. Yeah, they have to push in the opposite direction. direction. Have to. Absolutely. No yeah. two ways about it. And on both of those actions of pushing in either direction, you will get a reaction, won't mm. you? So the guy pushes. 
on the other guy, which is an action reaction, isn't it? The that reaction is the guy pushing back. back. Yeah. And on the on the actual skateboard where the feet are of the person, the feet are pushing on the, the skateboard. The feet are pushing on the skateboard, but the ground is pushing on the wheels with friction and contact yeah. forces to prov- to resist so, that push. So in this example, you've got uh, action reaction by their hands. Yeah, yeah. You've got an action and reaction by the left person's foot or feet on the skateboard, on the skateboard. and on the ground. And between, well, between, between the, skateboard the skateboard and the ground. ground. Absolutely. And you've got an action reaction on the right hand side. Absolutely. Skateboard and ground. So you've got three, you've got three action three reactions, reactions taking Absolutely, place. Yeah. Because I've often found, and that is one of the reasons why rockets will not work in a vacuum. Um, especially if one understands their, their, their understanding, their confused and skewed understanding that just by merely throwing, chucking something out the back of a nozzle will give you motion in the opposite direction. And that's the fact that there's only that, there's only that happening. Not only do you need the third mass, you'll also find that an action reaction for, in order for them to take place is like a, um, a chain, chain reaction. chain reaction. You need a number of them. Yeah. One action will cause a reaction or multiple reactions, which will give you more actions, which will create, uh, in other words, um, you've got action, reaction, but the reaction could become an action. Yeah. Yeah. Which then creates another reaction. Which then creates another reaction to become possibly a, an action. That's why they have such a term as chain reaction. Chain reaction, absolutely, of course. You know, because when you actually think about it, a, a, a rocket or a missile or anything that's powered in that manner yeah, yeah. has a number of action reactions happening absolutely of course in order to generate motion motion absolutely it's yeah. not solely just one just chuck one thing out the back it will move forward absolutely yeah there's an awful because lot going on when the rocket's moving through the sky you've got the the the, the drag absolutely yeah when the exhaust <clears throat> comes out of the um rocket absolutely you've yeah. got the Reaction with the air, with the air, yeah. Surrounding You've got the mass, the mass of the mass of the, the, mass air. Of the air, the resistance. There's a number of things happening. Absolutely, yeah. Of course, yeah. I know. I've got to admit, when you actually talk about, it, I really cannot understand how anyone can think rockets work rockets in space. Work in I space. know, yeah. Just by understanding the skewed theory that p- supports it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, because it's, it's yeah, but it's there's nothing rubbish. But there's nothing to understand that makes sense with their theory that's because it doesn't make sense it's, it's all absolutely. rubbish i mean i would like to while we're here i would like to just have a quick look at some of these other diagrams as well i mean you know to me it's just a pure um skew of um of um see here we go look there's a scroll up yeah the, the, the <coughs> boot hitting the ball View image. Here we go. See, the, the, those are coming together, but they've the way they've positioned the arrows. It's as if they're moving apart because they're side by side. Because the action force on the foot on the ball should meet the reactive force the ball on the foot. Yeah, no, they yeah. should come together. The, the arrow heads should come because together. The foot. It's because the ball, the, the ball. The, in order to uh, kick the ball, you've got to, I think you've got to... No, in order to make the move, hit the ball the, move. You've got to touch the ball in with order, your foot. In order to make it move. In order to make it move. You've got to touch it. You've That's got it. to add some kind of what pressure you to it. What are you going to do? Sit on the uh, rugby field and go, <laughs> try and blow the ball. No, but you're still touching it. You're still adding oh, yeah, contact to, to the ball. I've got to admit, these globe trolls are totally, totally demented. Demented, aren't they? They're absolutely um, messed up, messed up to smithereenies. They are, you know. Well, let's now, go on that rifle. This, now, this, oh, this one's a good one. You'll love this one. This one's a great one because I noticed this one. Oh, look, now, this arrows. is totally skewed. Oh, they got the arrows going apart. Yeah, just like the rocket. Absolutely. Oh, reckon he's a rocket. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, the guy, the the springboard goes down with the man, 
and then it goes up and then the guy leaves the springboard. Right, but also he's pushing down on the springboard. But then he goes down with the springboard. Absolutely, because the springboard forms part of him in some respect. The spring, yeah, the springboard, because he's part flexible, of the mass he's because he's not moving on the springboard. It's, it's a flexible mass. And he, yeah, he, his feet aren't moving on that springboard, so oh, yeah, he'll form, normally, form part normally, of the mass. Yeah, because normally um, they, they jump up and then their weight goes on the springboard, which pushes the springboard down. Absolutely, yeah. So that top arrow should be by his feet and inverted. No, 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 no. What they've done here in this diagram is that they've failed to take into account that the, the arrow at the bottom happens first and then the arrow at the top happens afterwards. Yeah, but we're talking about contact here. Yeah, but the guy has contact already with the springboard. He bends, he, the guy's on the springboard, okay, his feet aren't moving, so he's got contact with the springboard. Mm. So he bends his um, knees. knees, okay, which f and presses down on the springboard. Yeah, okay, yeah. springboard goes down, he goes down. Mm. And because of the, the reaction of that would be the springboard wanting to push back, back. Yeah. resistance gets to a point where it can't be pushed down anymore. The diver um, puts his hands up in the air, you know, goes forward, and he gets um, pushed back up. Pushed back up, which is the reaction. Thing. Yeah, is that right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, because the springboard would move up with him. The springboard moves up with him. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And that is a very, very, very bad diagram to use. I mean, a lot of these are just nonsense, but it's worth. It's actually worth um, looking through them just to show people can really understand that they're being fooled. Absolutely. Really. Yeah. You know, I mean, the guy's pushing on the wall and the wall is pushing back on the guy. But the arrows, this one here and this one here, they should meet. They should be... Well, point of contact. They point of contact. Absolutely. Where his hands are. So the arrow should be there, the other yeah. arrow there. I know we've... Kind of like covered this before. On, but one more. Let's one get, more. See if we can get a good one. And then we can. Uh, we, uh, we've done something very similar with this, isn't it? Haven't we? Yeah. We've done something similar with this one, I'm sure. The guy with the. Uh, oh, the weightlifter. The weightlifter. There, there you go. go. The arrow's coming up. You've got 100 pounds going up and 100 pounds going down. But these arrows moving apart again, trying to get people to think that um, you get motion with arrows moving apart, apart yeah. just to, to get them to think. But they've got to come into contact with them. But they've got to come into contact. The only way that's going to come into contact is if the 100 pounds weight of the weights is actually placed above the... Um, yeah, well, perhaps that's not a very good diagram. Yeah, well, sure. They're, they're all not very but good. But the 100 thing. pound, if, if oh, because the guy has, has the guy lifted them up? I don't know. That's a bit, well, to be honest with you, that's it's a bit a crap, of a crap, crap diagram. Crap diagram. Let's have a look at this one. No, it's crap. One more. I don't even want to do one more. And then we can. This one's not having it. I don't know. There you go. Oh, there's a bit of friction there. I don't know what that is. Nature of correlation. Mass, things. force, and acceleration. Force times times distance. Yeah, but that's all about springs and levers. Oh. Sorry. I uh, just want to do one more, really. So that we've. We're, oh, really? We're what about that? Oh, we did something similar to that, didn't we? Oh, this is the BBC. Yeah, even this BBC is not bullshit. Push from sole of shoe on grass. Why is it going upwards? That should be that arrow there, the red one, should be going downwards because you push downwards. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Push from sole of shoe on, on grass. grass. Right, okay. And push from right grass. There. Can you hear me scratching my head? There we go. Right, yeah, here, look. That's and push from grass, grass on, on sole, sole of shoe. Should. Why is that going down? Yeah, no. It's it's rubbish. <laughs> it's it's absolute rubbish. It is, isn't it? You know, and they say that the Earth is round. round. You know, how can they say that when they're pumping out shit like this? It's, I know, yeah. It's it's crazy. It's because it? the Earth isn't. A globe. It's because the Earth's flat. That's Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad I'm glad we've shown those because it makes people realise just how stupid. Well, just how fooled. People, people are being, are, yeah. you know, people are being wealthful. Yeah. Still, no mind, that's all part of life, I'm afraid, you know. Lots of uh, deceit, treachery, all over the place. Absolutely. Come on, let's just go back down. Quick, quick, so I would like... Uh, um,
Bit more, bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, him on the boat again. Oh, him on the boat. Here we go. So, da dee da da da. There you go, Terrible image, but yeah. So what you've got here is he's he's pushing the boat in order for him to move to the left. He needs to push on the boat absolutely to the right absolutely. And the reaction of that boat moving to the or the push of or the push on the boat, boat is the reaction is the, of, is the reaction in the water the resistance, the resistance of, of the, the water, water that wants to slow the boat down. down absolutely i mean yeah. who can't understand yeah. that yeah i know you know, yeah, I know who can't understand that you know it's so so simple so this arrow here is just absolute so nonsense nonsense because the only contact is his foot on, well, no, but his foot isn't moving sorry, on the boat. His foot is ah. part. Oh, his foot is part of the boat. So it's the boat and the water. It's the boat and the water. But what they're trying to make people getting people to think in, again is motion. Something moving in one direction gives you motion in another right, direction. direction. And yet we know that that's absolute, absolute tosh. tosh. Absolutely, absolute tosh. More tosh to get people forward <laughs> into thinking that rockets go into space. space. Because if rockets. If everyone knew rockets don't go into space. There can't be any space, can there? Absolutely. No moon landings, no globe Earth. No Mars. No Pluto, no probes, no satellites, no, no international holes. space station no, either. No black holes. Absolutely, yeah. No dark matter. No dark matter, yeah. No nebu... No, uh... Oh, God. Nebu nebulize. Nebulize. Yeah, no nebulize. No jobs. Oh, yeah, no job. No NASA. No NASA. No European Space Agency. Agency. No um, National Space Centre. In Leicester. Uh, yes. Yay, thank God for that. Yeah, yeah. Absolute terrible place that, isn't it? Oh, NAF. Do you know what? I wish I'd have gone there in some ways because I would have gone up to a member of staff. Well, I made a complaint. No, said, well, this place no, is shit. No, she said, what do you think of it all? And then I'd more or less sort of saying, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's bollocks. Isn't yeah, it? absolutely. Yeah, it's absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. But there we go. So, you know, it's, it's, it's totally clear that people are being fooled with Newton's third law of motion. It's certainly being misapplied to help uh, put forward the agenda or the view, the understanding into people's heads that rockets work in space. And yet they don't. don't. Never been in space. Never been, never will do. As far as I'm there aware. Isn't space. Yeah, there isn't space. The only thing I'm aware of that's been up high enough to High enough to a certain highest altitude is a weather balloon. Because you can see it for yourself. Because you there's video footage as proof, as evidence. Absolutely. So there you go. Anyway, so on that lovely note, and a very developing flat Earth movement. Yeah, but yeah, because that eclipse will cut it yeah, right now through the, America. Yeah, the eclipse. I really do hope that the eclipse will mark a significant change in the collective consciousness, consciousness of many peoples of many people over the earth and i'm really hoping it's going to have have a bit of a positive hope, yeah hopefully bit indicate a bit of significant change for many people in their lives like me well because a, a lot of Duh. people realize that just getting people ringing you up just for the sake of it annoying <clears throat> nuisance phone calls how does that Absolutely. help people in their life no, but it doesn't, How does it? it? All it does is give people jobs. a job, and I think the flat Earth will help <clears throat> society look at itself. Absolutely, you know, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, if look, people as soon as people ourselves. start, look, what are we all doing? Why is everyone going to work at nine o'clock? Why? Why are we all demented? Why are a lot of us demented? Why can't we get on with one another? Absolutely. Why can't we all be happy? Yeah, absolutely, because that's come on. Let's sort it. Let's do something about, about it. it. Yeah, let's, absolutely. Let's all. It's like let's get rid of Newton. Why hasn't this country, our the, the Queen? My goal of this country is to ensure the health and well-being and happiness of all my subjects. Absolutely, and yet in this country, in the UK, there is no goal or something to strive for. Something to aim for. Something to aim for at all. Nothing that the public are aware well, of, and yet they've got them in these charities. Yeah, they got them in these. Councils. Our business, our our business aim is to 
Blah, 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 blah. And you think, hold on, well, if you've got one as a business, why hasn't the government got one? About its people. About the people and the, and the country. You know, so where do we see the country in, say, a hundred years' yes, time? time? Yeah. How do we expect, how do we, how do we, how do we want the British people to live? How do we, how do we see their quality of life? In a hundred years' time. Let's, let's forget about these new bus stations and these new train stations and these new coaches and these new trains and these new let's cars. Let's focus more. Let's focus on the people yeah. because the people will be using them. It's the people that make the country. Absolutely. It's the people that make the country. And a happy society. Is a thriving society. Absolutely. Absolutely. So there you go. So hopefully, yeah, 21st of August, I believe. 21st of August. 21st of August. Get your hats on because I can feel change. In the air. Even changes. before it's happened, yeah. Oh, well, we, oh should, yeah. we should do that. Love, instead of love is in the air, we should do changes in the air. Changes in the air. Everywhere I look around. Do, 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 do. Changes in the air. Every I wonder, sound, every sound. I wonder if you'll have a lot of uh, Come on then, let's rela- relationship because... breakups after then. Oh, relationship breakdowns Breakdown. after yeah. the eclipse. Uh, eclipse. Yeah. It's possible. Possible. Well, a lot of people in their relationships, um, in my opinion, um, want to want to will break down anyway. Well, their relationship will break, break, break down, down anyway. anyway. Give it time. Give it time. It's anyway, Peter. Let nature take, take its course. Anyway, thanks ever so much, Peter, for your presence. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Yes, yeah, always a pleasure in your in your company. And uh, there we go. That wraps up for today. Yep. So always remember, um, if something doesn't make sense, like Newton's third law of motion that says action, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, and the arrows are a, po- a point in opposite directions. Certainly is the Newton's laws of confusion. Yeah, Newton's laws of confusion. Oh, but it's not Newton that confuses it, it's other people. Ah, because Newton may have n- intended his third law to be understood in the way we do. Absolutely. Whereas other people have come along and skewed, skewed his it. ideas, and voila, this is what you get. This is what you The get. guy on the boat, Motion in one direction will give you motion in another direction. The exhaust and the rocket. The hammer lifting up from the, the nail, nail head. Absolutely. Well, yeah. You know, and I, yet no motion in the nail. I know, I saw it going. Did you go? Did it go in? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure I saw the nail going. Yeah. Anyway, thanks ever so much, and yeah. we'll catch everyone later. Okay, cheers, MP. Bye. Tell her. The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat everywhere, it's flat!